when I was a kid, my brothers and I, we used to drag an old canoe from our house and we'd spend all day just paddling around the river. This was just a great thing. It was a great place to grow up and we had some really wonderful opportunities to enjoy it. Eastern Shore of Maryland is an amazing place, both to visit and to live. We have a lot of great resources for recreation. It has a great history. We have wonderful small towns to visit. Agriculture really drives our economy. It's a great place for growing crops and for farming. But there's one thing that connects everyone on the Eastern Shore, and that's water. The 73-mile Pocomoak is the easternmost river that flows into the Chesapeake Bay, draining water from four counties in three states. It's a really wonderful watershed. It has some really unique bald cypress forests, which are reminiscent of some of our southern forests that you would feel like you were down in the southern part of the U.S. Along the Pocomoke, the floodplains provide a lot of valuable benefits for both people and nature. They hold water after a storm event and then slowly release it back into the river. And they provide great wildlife habitat. Out of the Dover Air Force Base and their radar, they see big clouds of birds in this Pocomoke Valley. Every spring and fall, you've got millions and millions of birds moving up and down the coastline and they are seeking intact forest to stop and refuel. Uh, we don't have huge wide floodplains like this on too many places in Maryland. Uh, so just the sheer scale of it for habitat is really important. Historically, rainwater would fall into the ground and seep into the ground slowly and then seep to the river and its tributaries. The natural process starts to become disrupted after European settlers began ditching the land to facilitate development in agriculture. Just after World War II, agricultural ditching dramatically increased to meet the food demands of a booming population. While the surrounding cropland was being ditched to more rapidly transmit water after heavy storm events, a roughly 18-mile section of the Pocomoke River main stem was dredged and channelized. When the Pocomoke River was ditched, the floodplain was literally cut off from the river itself. So now, after a large rain event, flood water essentially flows unabated downstream to the Chesapeake Bay, along with all the nutrients and sediment from the ag uses upstream. So one of the projects that the Conservancy has been working on in the last few years is restoring the native and natural floodplain to the Pocomoke River. One of the key goals of this project is to restore hydrologic connectivity to get river water out onto the floodplain so we can improve water quality. We have six monitoring sites strategically placed throughout this restoration project, so we can better test our question of just how effective this kind of restoration activity is, so we can better inform how to restore things in the Chesapeake Bay, the nation, and throughout the world. Once we provide these breaches for the river to flood the floodplain, um, we don't have to go back and perform long-term maintenance. There's no infrastructure, no pipes, no water control structures. This is just letting the system do what it naturally wants to do, what it's always done before we altered it. Yeah, we both grew up on the eastern shore. We've been here our entire lives. I'd like to see the, uh, you know, that swamp stay like it is, and this program's going to ensure that. I'd like to have something for my children and their children uh, just to have, where they can go down there along the Pocomoke River and, and ride their four-wheeler and, and hunt if they wish. And I guess it's always been important to me that my grandchildren and their children will be able to take this same trip that we've done today. So it'll change. It's changed since I was a kid, but it'll still be wild and open, and that gives me hope.